Hello Guardians, welcome back to another Destiny 2 video, where, well, we'll simply just be talking about Festival of Lost, I don't really think there's anything else to mention, obviously this is for the year 2021, just in case I forget to put it in the uh, title, because I probably will forget to make sure to say that this is the Festival of the Lost 2021, but you never know, someone in the future has come back to look, just look at this anyway and be like, what? How was Festival last year? Well, let me just say, for at least for me anyway, for the first four to five days, it was actually a nice like change of pace compared to the previous three years and that just simply has to do with the fact that uh, well we don't have the haunted forest this year we have haunted lost sectors and obviously you could say oh another like reskin of stuff we already have and plus like they already do legendary lost sectors what's the point of this but to be fair I feel like they put a lot of effort like into what they've done with the lost sectors like they could have just designed them Halloween-ish had maybe like the one boss at the end appear differently and then you finish the activity. But no, they, they decided, you know what? This is our chance to tell some lore in game through Halloween spooky stories about the headless ones, quote unquote. So if you don't know, there's three lost sectors available. One on Europa, one on the moon, and the other one I can't remember off the top of my head. And, well, actually I will mention this right now. I do hope, and I've again mentioned this in another video too, but I do hope they actually think about adding more Lost Sectors so that we can, uh, well, obviously do more than just three Lost Sectors a year at Halloween. But the best thing about these Lost Sectors is not just, like, they're not just decorated Halloween over. Sure, like, the uh, main boss types are called the Hellas ones and they're big knights with pumpkin heads. But Glint is also speaking over with, I think, a few other people. I think, like, Ikora might have spoke over the um, comms ones as well. And, like, they were talking about, like, the headless ones and stuff. But, like, if you listen, if you've already, like, if you're already deep into lore or remember a bit of lore from the past, like I am, well, <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of like that avid uh, Mylan Games and my name is Bife Watcher, but, or listener more like one day. But anyway, sorry. If you're more, like, listening into the lore side of Destiny, you realize that they're actually talking about, like, actual piece of lore. And as you go through the Lost Sector you pick up on bits, or at least I think it's just like the start and the end, like at the start they'll say, oh, the, the K1 people uh, fought each other and stuff and became the headless ones or whatever it was, and then at the end it's like, it seems like the artifact made them all go insane and that's why they became the headless ones. You know, it's it's literally like, it's introducing you to um, something and then at the end like it kind of tells you off in a Halloween way like what happened. But if you look into the lore, Especially with the moon lost sector, that's a part of the K1 anomaly artifact kind of storyline. Where, like, they got, like, if you remember at the end of Shadowkeep, there was this, like, artifact that you basically touched and you were teleported the thing. That was, like, there's another one of them on the moon that um, was infecting the people. Uh, you know, the Crucible Map anomaly, the, like, it's in there. It was affecting the people there, like, that were looking over that. I think it was, like, I think that it was, like, United, like, um, uh, astronauts as well at the time. I can't remember the actual name of the organization, but it's something like China, Russia, and America, I think. Like, all three of them, and they're all looking over it or something. Or it might have been just a Chinese bunch. I can't remember, though. But yeah, no, sorry. I just, I have to geek out about that because, like, again, they didn't need to do that. They didn't even have voice lines or anything, but they decided, you know what? We're going to put some meaning into this, and they have, and that's why I'm, like, advocating that, you know, next year we at least get another one or two lost sectors also tied to like different part, uh, parts of the lore and plus this event's free so like if you're free or playing this for free for the first time and you go in and you learn there's more lore to the game than just like you know farm the same strike 10 times over like per hour they might be like you know actually i'll, I'll hold on I'll, I'll read a bit of the lore and i might play a bit more of the game you know but yeah overall like i i don't really have a rating for the event because i never really rated the last ones i'll just say like this event's better than the last event the last Festival Lost, um, well, when the first time I played it back during, I think it was Curse of Osiris time, or before Curse of Osiris. At the time, it was cool, but, like, again, as people said, like, over the years, it just kind of gets boring. Like, what we really need is, like, the same events as last year, but, like, a new event on top of it or something like that. Or maybe every year, like, the um, events rotate in and out. Or something like that, I don't know, but... Even then, as I said though, like the Lost Sectors for Festival of Lost actually will be like a really good addition. 
Because, like, if lost sectors are removed in the future because of a destination going away, like, let's say, random sake again, like, that the moon's going, at least, like, they'll have the other lost sectors and hopefully made more by them. Again, I'm really hoping that they actually do make more and they don't just leave the event bare next year. Um, yeah, sorry, I want to move on from that because I'm, I'm talking too much about the lost sectors. I want to talk more about the overall event. So, obviously, you can get candy and you can buy the, um, masks in, uh... I was going to say in the store, but it's not... Well, two are in Eververse, but they're for Bright Dust. And obviously, you can get all the little bits and bobs in there as well if you want. But they'll be available next year, so you don't, don't really need to worry about that. But to be fair as well, I think some of the other stuff uh, a part of this event might also be available. But I, I don't know. I always like try to 100% the event anyway, just for something to do, you know? Uh, I know as well you can collect Spectral Pages, which, again, this ties into like the lore and stuff, I believe. Like It talks more about... Well, not actually even just the lore of the Lost Sectors, but the lore of, like, what's going on in Glint's hunts for, um, the Headless Ones and stuff. And, like, it's, it's again, it's so weird, because this event literally says, oh yeah, so, uh, Glint has left Crow on Kytle's, like, battle cruiser or something like that, to go and do his own thing for a bit, just for this holiday event, you know? When Crow probably needs him the most now, like, after everything that just happened in the story, which I won't spoil, but, yeah. Again, it's cool to see, like, even for, like, you know, a limited time event. It's actually, like, partially tied into stories in the game anyway. On top of that, I, I I don't know. I guess I'm really happy, like, that everything's decorated Halloween again. And just, I have a new reason to play the game if I want to. But other than that, I, again, I'm sorry. I'm just really happy with the event. There's probably a lot of things I'm missing. But to be fair, I haven't really been playing the event much. As I said, I've only played, like, the first four to five days. I only played, like, once yesterday to see how freelance trials is which if i do play more of that that's another video for uh, me to talk about my experience in that but if i play right i might actually be able to do decent in that so if you just see randomly all of a sudden i have gone flawless you know what's happened but anyway i think i'll leave this festival the last video here because i'm kind of just rambling at this point more than ranting because i'm like i swear i had a lot more to talk about i just can't remember now so again i'll just leave it here thank you guardians so much for watching this video if you liked it obviously like it Comment on your thoughts of Festival of Lost 2021 and, well, if you're watching this in the future, what they've added between now and then, you know, because that'd be a cool comparison, you know, especially because, well, actually, I might already be <laughs> reviewing it again by that time. It depends, though, on what happens in the future. You never know, I could be dead, and maybe a ghost will come and revive me, and I'll be a guardian in real life. Uh, make sure to also subscribe and hit the bell if you do so desire. Uh, thank you again, guardians, for watching this video. Happy Halloween.